Here is a video that might or might not help you, so don't shoot the messenger. I really don't have any product recommendations I can use for this type of repair, which will make it almost difficult to make. However, I am going to go ahead and try and provide you with something that might work in the future or that you might actually have a product for. So let's go ahead and take a look at a concrete stairway that has all of the risers the same height. And then we'll take a look at a stairway that has a small riser height variation which is what we're going to be focusing on in this video something that might be a quarter of an inch or less because sometimes if we're going to be adding more than a half inch of material to a stairway then we might be able to do it with some of the products they now have available so again here a few different riser heights that in reality are only off about an eighth of an inch for example if we raised this step up an eighth of an inch we would have a seven inch 7 inch and 7 inch riser height. So to create this stairway I simply lowered one step an eighth of an inch and raised one step an eighth of an inch. So the first thing we are going to need to figure out will be the overall total riser height and that will be the measurement from this point here the bottom of our first riser and that could be the top of a sidewalk patio or other concrete structure and the vertical distance to the next level the upper floor so lower level to upper level so in this case here we're dealing with three foot six or 42 inches along with six risers if we divide six into 42 we're going to get seven inches and I do have other videos on that if you need it at our website so after we've calculated the overall riser height we can go ahead and see how far off each one of the steps is and then go ahead and add materials or remove materials and I would suggest removing a little bit more than you need because sometimes it's going to be easier to finish a little bit thicker material than a thinner material and another thing I would suggest is to get a chipping hammer and rough up the area and if you don't have a chipping hammer maybe you have an axe something that you can use to remove the smooth surface make it a little bit rougher and the products used stick to rougher surfaces better than smoother ones and I'm not about to suggest you need to get carried away with this however I can tell you that people who re-plaster swimming pools put a new finished coat on the swimming pool usually follow the same process now sometimes you're going to be able to do this without forming around the edges of each step however if you do need to install some forms then they're probably going to look something like this where you're going to be using some stakes to drive into the ground if your stairway is actually sitting on top of soil. However, this can still be done if your stairs are sitting on top of concrete. You're just going to have to get a little more creative here and make sure that you install plenty of braces around your form boards because the last thing you want will be for this thing to move while you're finishing your stairway and you can even coat the inside of the forms with some type of a vegetable oil that will usually prevent the coating from sticking to it however your manufacturer might have other products that might work better so always check with them and keep in mind that the top of the form height needs to be at the desired location which in this example here is only going to be an eighth of an inch which might allow you to use smaller form boards also instead of two by fours here you might be able to use something like a one by two to add your filler and finish your stair step and of course the same process here can be done up here or on every single step if you need it and we will end the video with asking anyone out there for suggestions on any stairways that they have fixed using any other method or these methods. And please don't bother sending me any stairway you don't have results lasting more than 10 years. Because this is the biggest problem with this repair. Is that most people do it and it looks great for about one year. And then either the product starts to separate from the existing stairway, change colors or flake off in small sections.